Hey everyone, it is Kimberly from WithGuessKimberly.com and I have been sharing a lot about Google Forms lately so I want to do a really quick how to um, how to make a Google Form. So I use Google Forms for order forms to um, capture samples like people who want samples, um, surveys, anonymous feedback, anything like that. Anything that you can get to intake information you would want to use a Google Form for. So let me show you how to do it. First, you do need a Google account. So if you have a at gmail.com email, should be good to go. So here I'm at google.com, just regular. Um, I'm already logged in, as you can see. So there's two ways you can get to it. You can do it by clicking this little checker box right here. Um, you can go more and then even more from Google. And this is gonna take you to all their products, right? And if you scroll down under home and office, you'll see forms. That's one way. Second way, and of course it's outside of the recording, um, and I'll put it on, is forms.google.com, okay? Super easy. It's going to take you to this landing page right here. So you'll be able to see all of my Google Forms. These are all the ones that I currently have. But the really awesome thing is that if you don't want to think about it, Google gives you some um, templates that you can use, which is pretty awesome. But I wanted to show you how to start one from scratch, so that way you know. And we'll do um, we'll do an order form, okay? So Kimberly's order form. And then for the description, you can put whatever you want. I'm just typing so you can see what it's going to look like. Online order form for Wickless. Kimberly.com. Okay. So this first question, I want it to be as close to an order form as possible. And at the end, I'll show you what mine actually looks like. But we want their name, of course. That's going to be required. And then down here in this, these little three dots, if you click this, you can add a description. So um, here is where I would put, please include first and last name. Okay. And this is just going to be a short answer. Super easy. Now we're going to add another one. And this time, let's do, we'll do another short answer, email address. Yes, we need that for sure. Personally, that's how I send them their, their invoices through PayPal. But here is where I have on mine, um, please include, we'll send PayPal invoice to this address. Now you get the point, right? So the next thing that I would add is going to be a paragraph, okay? This is where you want them to write out their order. Anything and everything that they want, right? And in this description, that's where I would put something like, um, like tell me your sense that you want, uh, be specific with scent choices, please choose your own verbiage like this, like be specific. That sounds very to the point. Be, I just want you to see what kind of the gist of what my thought process is. So be specific with your scent choices. I will bundle as best as possible to save you moolah, right? That's what we all want, save money. So another thing that you can do is you can do multiple choice. Earn free sensi. Okay. Option one, yes. Add another. No. Super easy. Yes or no, right? Now let's add another one. This time, let's do a linear scale. So the question is join. So label one is nope. And two is absolutely. All right. So you can see for, for the join, linear scales are really awesome because if they choose anything other than a one, you need to keep them on your radar, right? So at some point they thought, you know what? I, I might want to join if the, maybe a two, maybe a three. Those people you kind of want to keep on your radar, right? Fours and fives you need to chat a little bit harder with, right? get them to join your team. So other choices, you can do um, add a new title, which would look like this up here. 
you can add pictures, video, and then this one right here, it makes it into a, like a next page. So if you want them to fill out certain things first and then not see the rest, they have to fill out the first ones first, then click next to the next. That's what that is. That's pretty much it. So if you wanna add a picture of you um, as a thank you. Now, if you don't want purple, if you want another color, you can choose another color. Or you can go here and upload your own which is always nice, making it very personal. Or you can choose from some themes that they have. Um, oh, cupcakes, hello. And select. So that is that, right? Uh, let's take a look and see what this looks like so far. So that is what your customers are gonna see or whoever you're sending the form to is gonna see, okay? So one thing that I definitely wanted to show you about and one of the things that I love about Google Forms is the responses, okay? You can come here and you can see who has responded or answered your form or your survey, but I always click this button right here, create spreadsheet. Yes, I want to create a spreadsheet. Now, once the spreadsheet, like once people start filling out, of course, this is going to, you know, fill out. Okay, if you go to tools and then down here where it says notification rules, I do it anytime a user submits a form and email me right away. So if someone responds to my form, I automatically get an email so I know that they fill it out. I can open it, enter it, send it, invoice, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, that's what I like. You can have it at any point, daily digest or not at all. You can manually check it. That's just the easiest thing to do. Okay, let's see, let's go back. So let's say we are ready to go with this form. When you hit send, it's gonna offer you to email it. Personally, I like to choose it as a link. You can shorten it. You can also take it to Bitly, which I personally love. But here's where you can share it. You can share it um, through Facebook, through your business page, through your um, VIP customer group. Anywhere you want to share, you can share it in Instagram, anywhere that you are going to be capturing leads or taking orders or asking people if they want samples, that's where you put that link. So I hope this makes sense. Um, and here, let me, I can show you what my order form looks like if you haven't already seen it. Um, I personally have not updated my, con or my order form to the new version. You can see mine is a little bit different. I have mine with a picture up top. Unfortunately, they do not allow that anymore with the new update. Um, so I refuse to update and go to the new one. But this is what mine looks like. Um, if they partied at a party, host name, their name, email address, shipping address, phone number, their Cincy order. Do they want to get their Cincy for free? So that's hosting a party. And then if they want to earn an extra paycheck a month. Or how about free products and trips, right? And then you have me at home office thanking them for their order and that is what my form looks like and let me go back so here is my form that I just showed you this is the old version this is the new version see there's not an option to put your picture up at the top and I tried to do it I started a new one and it didn't work so that is that if you have any questions please make sure you ask it down below in the comments make sure you thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys next time bye